Hello everyone, welcome to another video on Obsidian. I know it's been a very long time since I uploaded my last video, but anyways, I'm back. I was busy with some of my work, so I couldn't really give time to making videos, but I'm back and I'll be making videos more frequently about Obsidian and other Obsidian related content. In this video, we are going to be talking about the plugin Obsidian had been missing for a very long time. This plugin will help you in your quick capture workflow. One thing that I absolutely hated about Obsidian was how hard it was to quickly jot down new ideas. I had to open the Obsidian app first, go to my vault, create a new note, and then jot down the ideas. Pretty tiring, I know. And another problem is when I'm on my phone, I have to wait at least 5 to 10 seconds just for Obsidian to load before I start using the app. In the past, I used various solutions like fleeting notes, Obsidian Wavebooks, and many others, but none of those were making a very good workflow. It always induced friction in my workflow. But recently, a new plugin addition to the Comdi plugin library has solved this problem for me. And I hope this plugin can help you in some way as well. So let's begin our video without any delay. The plugin that I'm talking about is called Telegram Sync. Telegram Sync is an Obsidian plugin that allows you to transfer messages from Telegram to your Obsidian world. You can not just save text, but also images and other file types. And this plugin can be a great addition to your workflow for quick capture. You can quickly jot down new ideas in Telegram and they will be automatically synced to your Obsidian world within split seconds. To start using this plugin, first you will need to create a Telegram bot and then you will need to configure the Telegram Sync plugin. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you exactly how you can install this plugin and how you can set this plugin up and start using it. The first thing that you need to do is install the plugin, as always. Once you have installed the plugin, click on Enable, go to Options, and you will see here, Boat Token Required. You will need to create a Telegram bot from Boat Father, and it will provide you an API token, and you will need to paste it here. So let me go to, let me search for Telegram over here, and search for Boat Father. This is the Telegram ID that will help us create bot. So click on start and you can go to menu over here and you will see the option to create a new bot. Or write a new bot. How are we going to call it? Please choose a name for your bot. Just write Obsidian Quick Capture. This is the name of the bot. And now you need to choose a unique username for your bot and it must end in bot like this. For example, Tetris bot or Tetris bot. So let me just write OBSD quick bot. Now the bot is created. You have this API token over here. Just click on this key and it will be copied to your clipboard. Go to Obsidian and paste this in this section bot token. Now here is another option where you can see allowed chat from username. This bot is available for everyone, right? Anyone can send messages to that bot. To make sure that not all of the messages are synced to your Obsidian bot, you need to add allowed usernames over here. You can find your Telegram username by going to settings and you can see here, this is the username. So I'll just write username over here. If you have multiple Telegram IDs or you want to sync messages from multiple Telegram IDs, you can separate the usernames by comma. I just have one, so I'll just let it be. And here is main device ID. Specify the device to be used for sync when running Obsidian simultaneously on multiple desktop. If not specified, the priority will shift unpredictably. This means this can cause conflicts if you do not specify the main device ID. This desktop for me is the main device ID, so I'll just click on this and this will be added over here. Now, there are two options when you want to save your nodes. The first option is to save your nodes inside a particular folder. Here is that option, particular location. You can create a folder, for example, Telegram or Quick Capture, and all of these messages will be saved inside this particular folder. And you can also assign template vari variables. You can create a template for Telegram messages. Currently, these template variables are not much useful, so I'll not suggest you to use them. Instead, what I want you to choose to save these messages is to append all to Telegram.md. A new node will be created in your vault called Telegram and all the messages from that Telegram board that we created previously you can go over here and click on start and all the messages from this 
telegram bot obsidian quick capture will be saved over here will be saved in this node called telegram md all the messages will be added one over another so i'll enable this option and there is another option which deletes messages from telegram once they are synced to your obsidian bot i will show you that in few minutes now let's start using the plugin right let me send a message from telegram this is an idea now if i go to my obsidian vault and search for a note yeah the note is already created telegram and you can see it is in the message is already synced over here and you can see how fast this works this is an idea this is you can see the sync is very fast another option was there to delete notes one delete messages from telegram once they are synced to obsidian right here is message deleted okay you can see it is synced over here now it's being deleted from telegram by the bot and it's deleted this is all about the telegram sync plugin it can help you to enhance your productivity and knowledge management with seamless integration to jot down new ideas also you can not just capture text but also various file formats file types for example let me send an image over here okay here is an obsidian graph if i send this in the telegram bot it will be synced to my obsidian world it's sent it's being downloaded and you can see it's synced to my obsidian world you can similarly send pdfs and other uh, file formats to obsidian from telegram this can make it easy to access information and avoid the need to switch between different apps so this is all about the telegram sync plugin i hope you found this video useful and this plug in telegram sync will help you somehow in your workflow thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed the video please like the video and subscribe to the channel because i'll be coming with more obsidian related content in the future thank you have a great time